this is Luke Hyang Tae from Realty X Lite, and in this video, I'm gonna break down the process of making this scene um, that we see right now, uh, which took quite some time to figure out the right composition. Um, first, I wanna show you the the failed attempt before I break down the scene that I decided to keep it for the final one. So this is the first attempt, and I know it looks really bad, but there's one thing that needs to keep in mind, uh, which is this one. So if you look at this footage, I light the character from the right and then she's carrying a candle. And I don't have any idea, you know, what scene am I gonna put her in. So uh, for me, like 90% of the time, then I will already have like uh, the, the 3D scene almost ready in terms of lighting, composition and color palette. But for this one, I want a complete freedom to create anything that I want in post and then uh, place the character inside it. So I have all the freedom to do anything except for two things, which is number one, I need to light the scene from the right and then number two, uh, the scene needs to happen in a dark environment because she's carrying a candle uh, and there's no point you know, for her to carry a candle if she's supposed to walk during the daylight. And now if I go back to my first attempt, then I kind of maintain that because I light it from the right and it's a night scene. But I'm not satisfied with the, the composition overall, so instead of trying to make uh, the scene better, then I try you know, to come up with a new idea. And here is my second attempt, which also sucks, but I still maintain to lit it from the right, but I'm not even sure if the candle makes sense anymore. Because uh, even if she's not holding that candle, then all the paths are like 100% clear. So there's no point carrying the candle anymore. So I decided to create completely different composition after this one. And then I come up with this render again for the third time, uh, which almost makes sense because there's a light source on the right and this is a cape. So it makes sense to carry a candle. But if you look at this lamp and the pole um, and the railing and look at the, the look at the floor, you know, it just doesn't fit in. I know I can replace the lamp and the floor with something more vintage, you know, like a little bit more grungy and really try to make these things work. But uh, part of me simply telling me that this is not gonna work. So I decided to come up with something that makes more sense, you know, with the footage. Then I finally come up with this one, which kind of start to work right from the beginning, at least in my opinion. I really like the color palette and the composition of it. And I believe this lighting from the right also makes sense. And of course, the, the candle. So now let's see the process behind this. Like always, I start my scene with a character reference, then I import that green screen footage, but uh, the key out version using After Effects, okay? Um, you can do this using Images Plane add-on. It can import a video as well, uh, that's super handy. Then I start compositing the shot from here, and by the way, I don't use a reference for this scene, since I just wanna see how the scene turns out to be, uh, which also why there's a lot of you know failed attempt. Uh, but that's fine since I learned a lot from there anyway. And this is just the blocking stage and I just want to come up with something that looks good in terms of compositing at this stage. And initially I think it's a good idea if I let her walk in like a wooden bridge in the middle of a foggy night. Uh, which is why I put her in this narrow bridge uh, which doesn't look like a bridge at the moment but uh, you get the idea. I also use this EV, you know, just for the previewing purpose, uh, which works quite well at this stage, but I never use EV for my final render yet, because there used to be these feelings that I get from the render output that, you know, that doesn't quite right. I don't know exactly uh, where things are not looking right, but it's there, you know, something like that. So I just render using cycles and I never have any of those problems anymore. Then I tried a bunch of uh, different angles, then I finally stick to this angle, which is this back shot. Then I start building up from here, even though this is pretty early stage, then I already know that, I mean, I already get the sense of this composition is gonna work. Then I download the grass assets from Megascan, and then I start scattered across the scene, and get into this trouble that you see right now, uh, which is this unwanted black shading effect instead of alpha. So if you find yourself in these situations, then uh, what you can do is just go to light path in render properties and then increase the transparent amount to something, you know, higher than the default value till you get rid of the, all the blacks, okay? 
Then I start experimenting on the color and I set the pillar to red initially. Um, which looks good to me since it matched with her dress. But then I change it to a cyan color because I feel like it's too blend, you know. Then I experiment a bit on the color of the wall as well. And here for the light to interact with the scene, uh, what I did here is I take the 3D character as a location reference. And then I animate it forward. So this is because our footage is just a plane. And she becomes smaller when she walks away from the camera, but it only gives us an illusion that she's walking away from the camera, meaning she cannot interact with the shadow or interact with the light. So when I animate the locations of that 3D character, I make sure that the height of that 3D character is the same as our footage. That way we can get the illusion of her walking, uh, walking in 3D space. Now all I need to do is add a point light and then animate the locations from the camera view and also from the side view as well. That way we can get an illusion of her walking in 3D space. And for the shadow, I duplicate the footage plane and then I rotate it 90 degree. And then I animate it forward like I did it for the 3D character. Then I have this shadow with the lamp interacting with all the, all the environment. Then I add this translucent shader uh, on the door glass. Then I give it a warmer tone to it so that I can you know, balance uh, the overall temperatures of the whole scene. Then I just add this simple cube uh, you know, to cast some shadow on the translucent part and also to give a uh, you know, bit more life to the scene. After that, I import everything into After Effects for the final composition. Then I start blending the, the footage with the render using Lumetri Color. I use glow and noise on top of that since you know um, there is no glow at all and then the renders are completely noise free uh, which is not realistic you know for this kind of uh, night scene so I add a bit more uh, noise to it and then if you look closely at her hand then there's a pillow just right next to it so this pillow will cast a shadow on her if it was real so I fake that by duplicating the green screen footage layer and then I darken it using Lumetri color and then I use a mask to mask out the those part and then I animate that mask you know that to give an illusion that now uh, this is casting a shadow on the subject there's so many masking works uh, happening after this one uh, to make it more believable and then after I'm done with the, the composition I add one last camera shake on top of that uh, you know just a very subtle one because uh, right now this is just a steel camera and it looks very stiff to me and that's it so thank you so much for everyone uh, who support this channel uh, through YouTube or Patreon and there will be a blender and after effect project file on my Patreon along with more detailed breakdown of the of that project file and if you want to reach me out, I put my Instagram and my email in the description and um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions or just leave a comment uh, below. So thank you so much guys and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.